friends, good morning. My name is Charity, a Filipina here in America, and welcome to my channel. For today's video, we will talk about my U.S. citizenship test and entry view. Yes, um, I had my U.S. citizenship test and entry view um, in March 2023. It was held in Duluth, Minnesota, and actually I am from Wisconsin, and yeah, I am from Wisconsin, and then my interview was held in Duluth, Minnesota. So what we did, my husband and I, we traveled, yes, we traveled um, almost three hours to go to uh, Duluth, Minnesota. We stayed at a hotel for a night, because my interview, it was in the morning. It was 9 a.m., um, 9.45 a.m. So I need to be early, you know what I mean? So I don't wanna be late for my interview. So we stay there at the hotel for a night. And then <clears throat> um, when we arrived there at the building, yes, when we arrived there at the building, um there were two security guards at the building so i greeted them and then i told them that i i will have my interview so i gave him the appointment notice you will receive an appointment notice from the uscis and it's very important because it stated there where where um your interview will be held on the time and uh, date so i showed it to the security officer and then he let me through that security checkpoint so all your belongings so your bags all your documents that will all your belongings will be put in a um, conveyor belt so it's like security checkpoint and then the security officer um he told me like i need to take the elevator to get to the seventh floor yes friends my interview um it's on the seventh floor so i thank them so my husband and i rode the elevator so when we arrived there um i waited for almost um let's just say almost 15 minutes yes um and then I had a tough and strict officer. So as what I said, it all depends. Um, every case is different. Every case is unique. So everything is all depends, friends. So as what I said, I have a tough and strict officer. <laughs> and then my husband wasn't with me during the interview. Um, so he went outside and then when the officer came in, um, he asked me what I am, what am I here for? So I gave him the um, appointment notice and then he read it and then he said that follow me. So I did follow him. So we went to the room and then he asked my um, passport, my permanent green card, my um, state identification card so I gave him my um, driver's license so yeah and then when I went there I bring all my documents that I submitted um, to the USCIS so just in case that you will ask some of the documents during the interview so I just bring it you know to be prepared you know what I mean if they will ask for it so I just bring it but the most important thing friends bring your um, permanent green card because they will ask that permanent green cards your passport if you still have your um, philippine passport and then um, state and identification card they will ask that three things and then um after that when he checked all um when he checked my passport my my um green card my permanent green card and my state identification card he <clears throat> let me do the fingerprinting it's like a biometrics but he did he um 
my left index finger and my right index finger and then after that um, he let me stand and then he um, let me take an oath um, do you swear the do you swear to tell the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth so I said yes I do and then so the interview starts and then um, the first part it's a civics test and then the second part is the reading and the third part is the writing and the fourth part it's all about your N404 the N400 form so as what I said friends review your N400 before your interview you need to review it all your answers and and keep a copy before keep a copy of that N400 it's very very important so before you pass you know the application ma make sure to make a copy friends keep a copy for yourself so that you have time to review it um, if your interview will come so okay the part one is the civics test right so he said like he will ask me 10 questions randomly so randomly and then if i if i answer six correct if i answer correct six of that he'll stop so the first question for that civic civics test is what i remember um the house of representatives how many voting members so it is 435 and then the second question we elect a president for how many years and i said four years and then the third question name one state that borders mexico and i answered new mexico and then the fourth one the fourth question name one of the two longest rivers in the united states and i answered mississippi and the fifth one the fifth question what ocean is on the west coast of the united states and pacific ocean and then the sixth question the last question um what is the name of the president of the united states now and i answered president joe biden and he stopped so that's the um civics question that he asked me those are the questions that he asked me and he stopped because i answered six correct already and then the reading test um there's a tablet in front of you it the sentence will appear on the tablet so you need to read it and the reading the sentence is who elects congress who elects congress and then the writing the writing friends is the answer of that question that you just read a while ago so the writing he'll say it to you once and he said he told me the officer told me um i will read it to you once and he uh, you listen carefully so i did and he said the people elect congress and you need to write it down on the tablet also and honestly i'm not really good of writing like in the you know in, on the tablet but i really tried my best to do it so i did so i i, I write i wrote i write yeah the people elect congress so capital t first then then at the end of the sentence you need to put a period in it you know what i mean so that's what the um writing the people elect congress so i did pass that um the the civics test the reading and the writing and then the last part friends it's all about that n400 so as what i said review 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 your n400 form friends it's very important but as what i said it all depends with the officer everything i mean as what i said um every application is different every case is different every case is unique so my n400 um my n400 um the first question that he asked me not really a question but he like he asked like 
what's my current legal name? And then I told him. And then after that, he asked me, um, what's my nationality? And then, and then he was the one, like, he told me like, oh, you're from, um, you're from Centuria, Wisconsin. And I said, yes, I am from Centuria, Wisconsin. And he, I think he was kind of shocked because, you know, I'm from Centuria, Wisconsin. And then my interview was held at the, um, in Duluth, Minnesota. So it's like, oh, you're from Wisconsin. And I said, yeah, I'm from Wisconsin. So after that, <clears throat> okay. I'm just checking my N-400 form in here. And after that, like, he asked me, like, because I was, there, um, there's a question here, like, uh, like, how many days, how many total days did you spend outside the United States during the last five years? And I said, I, yeah, I said 28 days. I was gone for 28 days. And then I only had one trip. Um, during the last five years that yeah he questioned me about my time outside the United States and he asked me also about my marital status that I am married once because he asked um, how many times I've been married so I said one how many times have you been married and I said once one and I'm married okay and then after that He asked about my children. Yeah, my children. How many children I have? He asked me about it. And then, friends, the, the most important, not really the most important part, but lots of questions about the part 12. Additional information about you. The part 12, friends, in my case, he asked everything about that part 12 yes friends he asked me everything about that um, part 12 additional information about you so that's why i said every case is unique so you need to listen carefully friends um to the officer you need to be focused yes focus stay calm i know it's hard for us to stay calm because it's it's very important interview of our in our lives it's very important it's hard for us to 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 be calm but stay calm please stay calm and listen listen very carefully attentively and be uh, focused focus on the during the interview because friends the part 12 like you know what it's yes or no questions right but there are like six questions of that part 12 that you need to answer um yeah the part 12 information about you there are um questions in there that need to be answered yes not really need but it um as what i said every case is unique every case is different and everyone of us is different so the um the question is all about the answer is all about you applying the citizenship so as what i said you need to stay focused again and again and listen carefully and attentively you know look at the, the the officer and then i answered all the questions that he you know he asked me and then after that um he let me sign yes i did sign he let me sign um for the certificate and i was very very happy friends i was very very happy that i passed my my citizenship test and interview oh my gosh like it's like it's a big big achievement for me because i'm totally done like all the you know all the the waiting because you need to wait for your you know you need to when you apply the um citizenship you need to wait that's the thing you need to wait and then file those you know do i mean fill up those documents and then you need to send the uh, um documents that they will ask like the documents that needs to be submitted 
you know, and the, the fee, friends, the fee, it's, it's 725 So, it's like, you need to do your best during the interview. Like, you know, just be natural and be honest. Yeah, be honest, be natural, and stay focused, stay calm, be attentive. And please, review, review, review your N-400 form. Please review. And then, yeah, and he said, like, I pass, and then I was so very, very happy. Yes, because everything is worth it. Like all the travel, you know, all the studying. <laughs> I've been watching YouTube um, about the, you know, the, the 100 questions, the civics, uh, the two, two, 2008 version of the civics test. So, yeah, that's what I did. I've been studying every day since I received the um, notice. Uh, notice of interview the appointment notice so i i've been studying a lot every day friends i even brought it to work so yeah so um i hope that this video would help those you know applicants that will apply for their citizenship and i want to say god bless to everyone and good luck and i'm so happy for you guys and I am so happy for myself too. And I am happy for those, for my husband also that helped me, you know. And yeah, and I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for watching, friends. And have a good day, everyone. Bye-bye.